Bless, bless, bless. It's the Down to Earth Podcast with your host, Sean Myrie. Yep. A little bit of news. Update on Drake Aubrey Graham and Kendra Clamar. Rumor is that he wants to do a round two, a cryptic message he had a couple days ago. Round two with Kendrick Lamar after Kendrick had uh, won the battle, right? So you could see that uh, Mr. Graham cannot take it that he had lost, right? And he's a big gambler, so he's playing, you know, the slots or he's just playing the gamble again. Round two, he been dropping a lot of music recently with this 100 gigs and um, now what, three recent tracks he dropped. The most notable one is No Face where he's taking shots at some people, basically dissing people. But um, now, especially there's a lot of Drake stands. They say there's Kendrick stands, but come on, man. I swear especially people from Toronto, are the biggest dick riders I ever seen in my life. Like, Drake, let's be straight up, is a nerd, right? A good boy who wants to be down with the bad boys. You remember the definition what a nerd is? Somebody, nothing's wrong with being a nerd. You could be a nerd, right? But somebody who's very gifted, right? And they put it the stereotypically intelligent and are into certain things that don't make you quote unquote cool. Well, Drake is one of them, a nerd. So nerds, right? Back in the day, how they used to put it that they're the ones who are part of whatever the, the checkers club and they they have the high IQs and but they they couldn't get the girls. Uh, no one invited them out to the the parties and stuff. But later on in life, those are the ones who become very successful. And in uh, regards to the guys, later on they will get whatever they want in regards to a woman. And the people who are the bullies, the quote unquote cool people, are the losers. Well. Guess what? There must be a lot of losers because the nerds are the one who's winning right now. Well, the nerd, which is Drake. Let's be straight up. I don't know why people want to act like that word is so bad, but just be straight up. He is a nerd. A lot of you guys, especially men who kiss his ass, would not even, you would never be hanging around him. You wouldn't be uh, bigging him up, right? If he wasn't successful, if he was just another Toronto rapper, you would just be looking over him. If he wasn't big in America, you wouldn't give a shit about who uh, Drake is. If he wasn't big in America, he, um, if he wasn't big like that, a lot of you wouldn't be hanging around with him. Right. He's he's basically paying for his street cred. Right. With his success, because if he never had that success, all of you, including a lot of the people in OVO, would not be chilling with him. You wouldn't be even associating yourself with him. So what's going on? There's a lot of ass kissing going on. I don't know who's blowing up his head. To think that there's a number two, the number two battle, if it's his own camp, well, if it is his own camp, right, kind of influencing this, you guys are idiots. I'm talking about the OVO because not one of you said anything or mentioned anything about Kendrick in the last round. So what, round two, all of a sudden you guys are going to be jumping on to help Drake? Listen, some of you kiss this man's ass so much, it's like you're, you're more than kissing his ass. You're probably sniffing his ass or licking his ass. That's how much a lot of you guys look. You guys kind of look fruity, a lot of you, if you know what I mean. A lot of you look very fruity. Drake is an artist. 
Yes. But a lot of you would not frig with Drake if he wasn't successful. Let's be straight up. That's the honest truth. A lot of the people who um, he claims as friends or they claim that he's their friend is only because of his success. Should look on it, for example, with the beef. When this beef started, you see how much people who supposed to be Drake's friends went on to, to the other side. Uh, LeBron James, right? LeBron James. When this went on, yo, you see, him, you see him in videos. Loyal friends don't do that. DeMar DeRozan and a whole bunch of others started to speak out against Drake or basically diss Drake in some type of way. And those are celebrities. Those are the celebrities. A lot of these people he helped and he put them on and gave them features. And you see what happened? So now the people who are not even celebrities, the ones who are less, what do you think they're doing? They're using you. You are a nerd. And nerds, some of them, they want to be accepted by cool people. Right? They want to be accepted by cool people. Drake was not chilling in the hood. Drake never um, done anything what uh, so-called so -called, quote-unquote hood people are into. That's why Drake got robbed back in the day. That's, that's a story what people put out there that he got robbed. And didn't he probably report that? Yes. So wait, isn't that considered a snitch? in the, the so-called community. Okay, that's just, an, that's another topic. But a lot of you kiss Drake's ass to death, especially a lot of the platforms in Toronto. A lot of you guys just kiss ass. Okay, he's almost a billionaire, so I'm guessing it's because of money. That's why you guys are kissing his ass. If he did, if he wasn't that successful, like I, like I mentioned, like, other artists who's been around before Drake, you wouldn't give a shit. And that's why you don't care about a lot of the original hip hop artists from Toronto because they're not commercially big like Drake, right? They're not commercial like him. You might give some spotlight to Tory Lanez when he was out or you give some spotlight to Pressa or you give some spotlight to Jesse Reyes, a couple. But man, a lot of you are, guys are on Drake's ass like flies on shit. Straight up. Drake was on the grassy. The grassy. He's an actor. And before that, he was doing commercials or doing all types of, you know, he's a nerd. Nothing wrong with, like I'm saying, if you, you, nothing's wrong being a nerd. But just know that he's not like what uh, he puts out. He is an actor. Remember that. That's the main thing you should r realize. Drake is an actor. Before even doing this whole hip hop shit, he was an actor. So people, you need to look on that. Anybody who's sensible should look on that. Actors know know how to play roles and he's playing a couple of them he's playing a big role right now drake but a lot of you are a fool it makes me wonder now are some of you men who kiss this man's ass on the down low or something because it seems like that the way how a lot of you just keep like you know obsessed with him but when I'm giving you the news, I'm giving you the real because there needs to be balance here. There's too much of this, this Drake kiss, the, the kissing his ass, right? Drake has friends, maybe his real friends. You'll never see them. I'm not talking about the guys around him, the OVO crew. There's other people, right? You see the black brother in them. You ever see the the, the, the the Jewish brethren in them or the white ones around him? Do you see them? Do you see them? 
And most of those uh, individuals, I guarantee you don't see no niggas around them. I guarantee his white or his Jewish friends, you don't see no niggas around them. The only ones you're going to see is himself, Aubrey Graham. Drake is an actor. Stop kissing his ass, especially you Toronto uh, bandwagonists, because the only reason you guys support Drake, because a lot of you want to be uh, opportunist. You're hoping that he shouts you out and gives you some attention, right? I'm off of this. Revenge of the Nerds episode hosted by Sean Myrie. Subscribe.